Welcome back, everybody. It's Rob. I'm here with Bill Finnegan, and uh, we're here at the at the Aviat booth, right? Right, right. Aviat aircraft. aircraft. Featuring the pits, and uh, Bill Finnegan is a longtime buddy of mine, aerobatic competitor, coach, judge, all around good guy. And uh, Bill, why don't you tell us a little bit about when you started flying? Well, uh, I probably had my first entry in a book in. Uh, 1945. Excellent. Uh, I was eight years old. My brother was a Navy fighter pilot, and uh, we flew in a hyper supercruiser when they first built them. Excellent. Uh, my license uh, was 1955 when I was a freshman at uh, the University of Maryland. Wow. And uh, flew across Washington, D.C. in a 7AC champ to Virginia to pick it up with no radio. <laughs> so times have changed. Absolutely. Have changed. Now the what, airspace down in Washington is pretty pretty tightened up and buttoned down. Uh, it's uh, it's a little it's a little <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Right. And when was the first time you got into uh, a pits? Uh, the first pits I was in, actually, the first pits I purchased was in 1981. Oh wow! And uh, before that, I had dinked around in a few other planes that I probably wouldn't fly the way I flew at that time. <laughs> So Not this man knowing any more than I knew at the time. This man has more time in a pits than I've been alive. So he, he he's definitely an expert on the aircraft. Uh, a few hours. A few hours. <laughs> so let's talk about this beautiful airplane sure. here. There we go. You tell me how you want it. All right. Uh, just tell me about the, the what is particular about this airplane. Well, uh, the quick and simple is it's began by building single seaters and many people know about the S1C and then it became the S1S and then they made a plane the S1T and about that time the people wanted a two seater so they started with the S2A then the S2A sort of morphed into a six cylinder S2B and then the S2B in 1999 morphed into this current model, which is the S2C. And the S2C, although it looks very similar, has many, many refinements on it that make it a much better airplane to fly. Okay. And what are some of those refinements here? Well, quick and dirty, the, the wing internally is built very differently. It's lighter, stiffer, and stronger. And then the ailerons are not only larger, but they're hinged differently. They function differently, and you'll see the absence of no spades underneath of the ailerons because you don't need them. The plane rolls easier with easier stick pressure, and it rolls faster. Very good. Then if you look at the back end of the airplane, commonly called the tail, uh, you're going to see that the design is very different on the elevators and the rudder, and they all have dorsal horns, which are statically balanced, and uh, the result there is that it's easier to fly very More good mm -hmm. excellent anything that's easy to fly because pits do have a reputation in the uh i suppose the general population as being trickier airplanes but i think curtis had some very specific things to say say about that there it's a straightforward no nonsense airplane the only thing different is that it responds to your input immediately absolutely so that uh, some people call that touchy. Mm -hmm. I like to refer to it as responsive. Yes, very good. And I like to call it eager. So it's eager to do what you tell it to do. All right, well, that's been uh, our minute here with Bill Finnegan. Thank you very much, Bill. Very good. And hope you have a great sun and okay, fun. Great. Thank Take you, care. Rob. Fun.